they've got among the lowest payrolls in the game, and they believe they've drafted the star of the future. The Chicago Blackhawks are bad. But the question will be, how bad? And is that bad useful bad? Because on one hand, ideally, you want to take a team to, you want a team to step forward and grow. But on the other hand, it would be really great to be bad, sell, and draft another player to compliment Bedard next June. There it is. Ah, 21 seconds in. <laughs> Connor Bedard. We're gonna, so we're already at two. Mm-hmm. I want to know how many times we say Connor Bedard's name in this video. Three. Okay. Um, <laughs> to surround Connor Bedard, four. Four. The Blackhawks overpaid for guys like Felino Hall and Perry. Uh, but does that really matter? I mean, you want to you no. you surround him, right? Yeah. You, you, uh, you surround him with, uh, with experience, culture, um, all those stupid intangibles. Because, like, listen, you're not trying to actually win hockey games, dude. So, okay. Uh, Jesse Blake, what are you expecting points wise from Connor Bedard this year? With uh, supporting cap. Do you have the betting over and under? No, I don't. I'd love to know uh, that. Oh, okay, okay, if you okay, can okay. bring up the points and the goals and if whatever they have, um, I'd love to know that number because whatever that the betting market is setting it at, I'm going over that. Okay. Like I, I want 40 goals out of Connor Bedard. Oh, I yeah. want, uh, let's say 80 to 100 points. Somewhere in that, that's a wide margin. I thought you were going to say assists. I'm like, you're on drugs. No, no, 80 <laughs> to 100 points. So whatever, 40 goals uh, evens that out up to. I The the sun and the moon is what's going to happen here with Connor Bedard. Like everything you expect out of this kid, he is going to hit that bar and surpass it. He's looked absolutely phenomenal in the preseason. It's just highlight reel after highlight reel in the like two games he's played at this point that, yeah. that we've seen. Mm-hmm. Um, it's unbelievable. Like, sky-high expectations on him. He looks great. He's going to step right in and be a top 25 NHL player. I'm and, looking and for it right now. Hank. Full disclosure, it's October 2nd, the day that we're shooting this. I, I wouldn't be shocked to see them claim some guys off waivers. Mm. Um, their defense is friggin' horrible. Yeah. But, like, who with some offensive skill wouldn't want to get claimed by the Blackhawks right now? Like, you have an opportunity to, if someone has a bad week and you're hot, you're on Connor Bedard's wing. You could ride that. You could ride shotgun with Connor Bedard for the rest of your. Well, I wonder in my, how Athanasi you feels about that, right? Because exactly right. in my projected lineups that I, that I was looking at, I took some did some digging. I made for the team. I have Taylor Radish on their top line with uh, Hall and Connor Bedard. I don't know if it will play out to that, but like a guy like Taylor Radish, you know, you get to step in there and just play with Connor Bedard. How ridiculously lucky are you? He's already played with several players. I, I believe Radish Hall and the other was a fantasy. Like mm-hmm. Adam, Adam mentioned, like these guys do not have such a secure roster spot that it's impossible. You couldn't get promoted. Mm-hmm. It's, it's I'm telling you, man. Yeah, and if you're I'm a waiver wire pickup and you play good, you know, you play well and you get up in the lineup and then you're next to Hall and Bedard, like that's pretty good time. Your life could change for the better. Yeah, and you can have a decent season, get a nice free agent bonus. Like I I think Bedard's gonna be so good. And I don't know it like what he's gonna excel at yet at the NHL level. Like if he's gonna be the goal scoring type or if he's gonna come in as the playmaker, because we saw McDavid start early in his career as hey, I'm gonna do the Gretzky thing where I'm gonna put up four million million assists and that's how I'm going to do it and then I wouldn't say midway through his career but like in the first half of it in the last two years he made a marked decision to become the goal scorer and now he just does both you know now we're like 60 goals plus the million assists and now McDavid is this unbelievable player they're going to fight a lot Uh, Uh, Perry is going to fight Felino is going to fight and then they're going to realize these guys are a little too old to be doing that and they're going to go out and get someone else. They're, they're going to fight a lot. Uh, there are three names that are not named Connor Bedard that people are keeping eyes on. Specifically, I'm going to mention Lucas Reichel, Kevin Kurczynski, and Arvid Soderblom. Uh, Scott Powers, uh, who is a longtime reporter for the Blackhawks, believes Soderblom could be the goalie of the future. Uh, he'll have to share time with Peter Morazic, but uh, no, Peter no. Morazic may just give time because he's yeah. consistently injured. Yeah, and bad. Like he hasn't, he hasn't been good when healthy. He hasn't been both good and healthy at the same time for a, quite some time. Wait, who did you say the goal is? Future? Arvid Soderblom. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Arvid uh, Soderblom. Because yeah, that's uh, you that's, should remember that name. That's his cousin, brother of of uh, the guy in Detroit. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they're related. Are they related? Actually? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, no, I got a tweet about it the other day. Oh, okay. yeah. So, so, <laughs> so here's some. Uh, I was looking up some Connor Bedard stuff. I can't find the points, but oh. if uh, if you take him to lead uh, the d- Central Division in scoring, it's plus twenty five hundred, which is pretty nuts. That's a good. That's a good bet. If you take Connor Bedard to win the Hart Trophy, it's plus five thousand. Rocket Richard five thousand to score. 
Uh, 30 goals is a negative 275. To score 40 goals is a plus 350. Do you take that? Ooh. Can Connor Bedard get 40 goals? Somebody's got to score for the Blackhawks. 450? 350. 350. I tried to speak it into existence. I mean, 40 goals is a lot of goals. Yeah, I got the Bedard numbers for you. Give it the to uh, over under on points is 67 and a half. Over. That's what that's what the line 67 is. 67 and a half? Yeah, regular season points. Over with half. both feet. <laughs> yeah. Over with both feet. Yep. Absolutely. Uh yeah, like I said, Lucas Reichel, Kevin Kraczynski. Here's uh here's what I thought you'd find interesting. Seth Jones and Nikita Zaitsev are the two highest paid de- defensemen on this roster. Good lord. Now, I know Nikita Zaitsev's contract is expiring. I know Seth Jones signed an extension under a different regime. But at the end of the day, when you're the two highest price tags, a lot will still be expected of you, especially with this team ushering in a new era. What do you expect from those guys? What do they need to do for this to look like success and for Nikita Zaitsev, frankly, to get another contract? Well, uh, sometimes your reputation um, precedes you. Uh, Seth Jones actually had a pretty good year. (laughs) Last year, um, as good a year as you can have with the Blackhawks. Um, he's going to play like 25, 26, 27 minutes a night. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. And for Nikita Zaitsev, um, you got to put up points. That's how you got this contract. Seven years ago. Seven, a very long time ago. He had 36 points as a rookie. A lot of it was on the power play. I think you got to be in your coach's ear. You, you got to be doing everything you possibly can to get on there. If I'm your coach, I ain't putting you on there, but we know he can do it. Okay. Uh, Connor Murphy is 30 years old, making 4.4 million bucks. What does he need to do? He's an assistant captain this year. Get traded at the deadline. <laughs> You're not, are you not, are you, he's not a, a part he's, of the, the future here? No. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I think- they, they want good players for the, for the, uh, for their future and like that guy ain't it mm-hmm. on the on the d side there the the names you rattled off there the most in- interesting one is is korchinski because you get the 19 year old who gets to come in and on a really bad team he was a first round draft pick last uh in 2022 seventh overall thank you ottawa uh he he gets to play first line minutes he's probably gonna be paired with Seth jones there on the first pairing man and do you imagine you get a 19 year old who gets Ooh. thrown into the nhl and you say hey go learn you know, you, you don't have to learn at the AHL. You don't have to learn in junior, wherever. You can just go learn with Seth Jones, and you can play number one minute. I think Seth Jones is going to play so much that he has two D partners. <laughs> no, <laughs> probably. probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go out there with Krajinski. All right. Stay out there. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to be playing with, I don't know, some other guy on the left side. It reminds me of the Maurice Sider situation where Sider, he just first first year, you know, he comes in. He's playing 22 minutes a night. And Korchinski has the luxury of having Seth Jones next to him, which Sider didn't have. So Korchinski's growth development could be amazing just in this Blackhawk system. There's more things to like with Chicago than you think. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. looking at these UFAs too. Tyler Johnson. Uh, Nick Foligno, Corey Perry, Jason Dickinson, uh, Colin Blackwell, Nikita Zaitsev, Jared Tenorti, um, and Peter Morazic, all UFAs at the end of this year. So they the Blackhawks Tenorti, they have Jared Tenorti. Oh, add that to the list of guys who are going to fight. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I think the the reality of the situation is they already have one of the lowest payrolls. I wonder uh, with 13 million in cap space currently. Wow. That's to start the year at the deadline. If not. Nothing were to change. Sixty-four million they could take on sixty-four million dollars because of the way the math works. I'm almost Damn. positive they don't take the roster that we're currently looking at on October second into the season. Well, I, I, I at some point somebody is Ottawa is going to need some <laughs> sort of relief, and it's like Ottawa and Chicago. They've made trades before. Um, I, I think that that. Chicago's biggest win this year for me is how they use that cap space to take on um, some dead money for assets. What can you do with that kind of, you can do a ton with that. Who can you talk to? Who, you know, how can you benefit from this? Um, and, and that's, if I were Chicago, I would be like, okay, uh, let's, let's take your one, your bad one year deals. Cause you need, you need pressure uh, let off. I'll take them now, but you're going to have to throw in major assets for it. It is the most valuable thing in the NHL right now is cap space. I think you call Pierre Dorian until I can see the <laughs> thumbprint on your phone from space. 
<laughs> I agree. Could not agree more. Okay, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, the Central Division, not the strongest in the sport. Mm. The betting odds at 73 and a half, that that's how the... So do you go over? Or oh under? my gosh, that's way too high. I'm going under. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, going under. They had 59 points last year. Yeah, also the number for Bedard and goals this season, the over-under is set at 31 and a half. Over! So where do you have the Blackhawks finishing in the Central? I don't even got to look at my phone last. <laughs> You don't need this menu? No, I don't need this menu. I already know how bad you are. <laughs> Jesse, what about you? I have them last as well. The I most, am shocked. The most fun thing this season will be uh, seeing how many creative players they can play this season. They have a guy who might play. His name is Cole Gutman. 14 career games. I don't know if he's a real person. That's a new they great. still have Buddy Robinson? I don't know. I don't know. I hope they do. Cole Gutman. Everybody. Cole Gutman and Buddy Robinson. Last place. Chicago Blackhawks. Beautiful. Same here. Blackhawks, eighth place, but that cap space is going to be interesting. 